Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have uh, one card here. It says, uh, girl with a, a snake. Okay, so empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used uh, boundaries. Okay, interesting. So this could be your energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, maybe you feel like this person was involved in this connection for the wrong reasons or you're feeling a bit empty. You're feeling some sort of a void when you think about this person or this connection here. Um, and with boundaries there, for sure, you know, you could have, you know, set very clear boundaries in terms of maybe not wanting to engage with this individual again. So let's see uh, what Tarot has to say. Like some of you may feel like you were giving to this situation, giving to this person quite a bit, but you weren't really, uh, they weren't really reciprocating the energy. Maybe you feel very drained when you think about this uh, situation. Yeah, we have the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck. So you could have this person blocked. That's a high possibility. Split the deck and we have three of pentacles. I think what's uh, standing out to you at this time, Aquarian, is essentially what is not practical about this bond here or what, uh, or the reason as to why things were not able to work, why you guys were not able to come to a mutual you know, agreement with the Nine of Wands. Again, that could be quite literally mean that you have this person blocked or it's just your person feeling that they don't know what to say. So some sort of blocked communication, even if it's not quite literally. Now, Nine of Wands is an energy of standing your ground, but you know, it's also an energy of feeling very emotionally exhausted. So again, going back to what I was saying, I feel like for many of you, you could feel extremely exhausted at this point. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles and we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. So uh, pretty much what I see so far, guys, is off the bat, even in the past, this connection was very slow moving. Okay, it could have been your person maybe giving you just enough and then holding back from you as well with that Four of Pentacles. Because um, the Four of Pentacles does speak about holding back, but it could also be read as, you know, greedy or selfish, which makes sense with your first Oracle card there. Like some of you feel your person was constantly taking from you or, you know, they were just not reciprocating the energy that you were putting forward. And with the Knight of Pentacles, some of you feel like this person was kind of dragging their feet to either put forward practical effort or just move things to the next level. Main thing standing out here is a lack of effort. Justice on the bottom of the deck here, guys. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Behind that, we have the King of Wands. We also have the Moon. Okay, so what I see here, guys, is there is an energy of your person feeling that there was definitely something that wasn't fair. For many of you, I think it was the secrecy or what was, you know, hidden, okay? Um, and with the Moon, guys, maybe some of you felt like the future seemed very unclear due to the fact that there was a lack of effort. So it's like you may have questioned this person and you may have wondered where this bond was going, especially because this person was not putting forth as much effort as you would uh, have wanted them to. I see like the pace of the bond could have definitely um, impacted you let's see king of wands so some of you could be dealing uh with the fire sign here okay what's on the bottom of the deck the ten of swords yeah death card i think your person is realizing that something is definitely coming to an end here but what's interesting is they're still in a bit of a defensive energy it's almost like accepting that something is over but feeling defensive so they may have you know this energy of feeling that something from the past is going to resurface or this could be someone's guilty conscience but it's almost like they are very um either afraid of something resurfacing or even if you were to converse with this person even if they were to converse with you you would pick up on the energy of this person kind of just being a bit on guard not being all the way open 
So again, they know that there is an ending that has occurred here, but something is making them feel a bit um, all over the place, if you will. Something here is, you know, rubbing them the wrong way. And I feel like for many of you, there may be a fear of something resurfacing. Okay. Ten of Wands, yeah, another ten here. It's almost like this person may feel they made the wrong, uh, you know, choice here or they chose the more difficult route. You know, whatever that may mean in your situation, it is a general read, but the Ten of Wands could be where you're making something more difficult or you're choosing a more, you know, complicated route here. So this person may feel like, you know, the fact that they've held back from you or they were dishonest with the moon card could be the very thing that they feel like kind of stalled this relationship. Okay, um, now with the Ten of Wands, they, they are trying to accept an ending, but it doesn't change the fact that it feels very heavy. I think that this person's also starting to realize maybe how one-sided things were in this bond because a persistent download I'm getting here is like there was a lack of reciprocity. Things did feel one-sided, even if, you know, in the beginning stages they did not. It came to a point where this person may feel like their efforts were decreasing or their focus was shifting, you know, that sort of thing. So what is the Four of Pentacles? The King of Swords, and there you are. Yeah, this person feels like you're definitely on guard right now. Okay, some of you quite literally have this person blocked because we're seeing the Nine of Wands for the second time here. Um, but with the King of Swords, again, going back to boundaries, you've set very clear boundaries here. This person views you as <clears throat> keeping to yourself and not wanting to put forth any effort. They may even feel like you've given up on this situation. Okay, they do feel like you are frustrated. Okay, there is an energy of you being fed up, but they also feel that you're not really going to initiate a conversation or try to fix things. So you're at the point of, you know, quite literally feeling very emotionally exhausted, wounded, feeling like you've tried everything that you possibly could, but you're at the point of, you know what, I'm exhausted. That's what I see here. Um, with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords, so something that you may have made very clear to this person is, uh, you know, them not reciprocating the energy or constantly holding back, okay? Some of you, I'll be very honest with you, you do feel like this person was a bit selfish during the course of this bond here, okay? Whether it's, you know, you feel like they always expected you to be there for them or, or you know, uh, find a solution for the issues that you guys were facing, but you feel like they weren't really there for you when you wanted them to be. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, yeah. It's like there isn't um, a desire to work together, but with that Knight of Pentacles, I feel like there was overthinking going on. Or maybe you feel like, you, you know, like this person could be someone who's very premeditated. They think about every single move thoroughly and they like to be careful before, you know, jumping to conclusions here. But it seems like they were, you know, trying to take their time. So, it, you know, in, in return, maybe you were trying to be patient with them. But it came to a point where you feel like they weren't necessarily taking their time. It was just more so they weren't doing anything at all right because it was translating to more of a complacent energy here and i feel like guys like again there is a desire to work with you but this person did not show you that bottom of the deck here the knight of swords so it could have been a very on and off connection or you feel like the conversations that you had with this person even when you were trying to get to the bottom of an issue it was more so about who who gets the last word so some of you feel like you know there was nothing left to do but kind of close out a cycle here or move forward I do sense like a very fed up energy on your end, Aquarius, or just being very tired, kind of like I don't know what to do moving forward when it comes to this person, when it comes to this connection. Um, King of Wands. Yeah, Three of Swords. This person is definitely torn. I will say that, um, Aquarius. I feel like this person is with the Three of Swords, like you know, replaying scenarios in their head, they're still feeling very hurt by the situation. Um, and with the 10 of wands, again, there's something to do with a decision with a decision or a direction that they chose. 
okay? Um, at bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups as well as the Ten of Swords. This is someone who feels like they are trying to emotionally detach, but there's so much chemistry here. Something feels so familiar. And with the Ten of Swords, again, it seems that there is a betrayal at, at hand here that your person is very focused on, okay? Whether that's a betrayal on your end, their end, both of you, they're just very focused on why things ended and what caused the both of you to kind of walk away from each other. And again, the chemistry is still present. I do feel that. This person may even be trying to like alter something in their life right now. Okay, so it could this could be a mindset. This could be a characteristic. This could be their outlook, you know, on, on their love life. They're trying to alter something at this time or manifest uh, something new. I do see that. And I think that, you know, with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, the reason why they're torn is because they still feel connected to you, even though you guys are not speaking. What is the Ten of Wands? The Page of Cups. They may feel like they handled something in an immature manner or they could have said more specifically pertaining to their emotions. So this could be an energy of someone feeling like maybe they were very, uh, you know, nonchalant or they were downplaying their emotions. This could also be someone who feels like they were very unpredictable during the course of this bond here. Okay, um, and with the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups, I do feel for some of you, this person could have, um, you know, made the wrong decision in terms of choosing something that was temporary, that would temporarily satisfy them, but they weren't thinking about the long-term consequences of, you know, their impulsive decisions here. Because the Page of Cups could be, uh, you know, like a, like a younger energy, of course, but it could also be very unpredictable where you don't really know what to expect with this person. And because it's the Cups energy, I feel like this is something to do with their emotions. Either you feel like you were involved with a very moody individual or you feel like you never really knew what you were uh, getting with this person or where things were going to go. It's like there wasn't really an energy of this person maintaining the things that they would tell you. Uh, what's the King of Swords? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, realizing what did not work. And this person views you as someone who no longer wants to work on this. They view you as back turned towards a situation. What is done is done. Because the King of Swords could be read as, you know, uh, someone who has recently went through a breakup or a divorce. But with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse clarifying that, it's like they view you as someone who has given up on the situation or you no longer want to, like, invest your energy, time, or put forth practical effort. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit. They may feel like you're just isolated at this time. You're spending, uh, you know, time on your own. You are... You you know, more focused on maybe gaining some sort of clarity, not necessarily through them, but again, on your own. Um, but I just feel like, you know, another reason they could feel torn is the fact that they feel like you're no longer trying, especially Aquarius, if you feel like you have given this person countless, uh, you know, chances here, or you feel like you have tried to the best of your ability until you got to the point of, you know what, I'm throwing my hands up. Um, what is the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck here, the Page of Swords. I do see that this person is definitely still keeping tabs on you. Behind the Page of Swords is the Four of Cups. Um, so pretty much a repetitive message here of this person feeling like you are not interested in a new offer. Instead, you're you're um, focused on why things did not work, right? He's focused on the Three Cups and you know, not the cup that's in front of him. So I feel like your person is viewing you as someone who has a lack of interest at this time, or you've become very, you know, uh, impatient with the situation, like waiting for something to happen, uh, you know, pretty much getting tired of a waiting game. Now, this could also be, you know, your person obviously keeping tabs on you, or, or there's a lot of curiosity here. But I feel like your person has the tools or they know, you know, what they need to do in order to solve things, but they feel better in your silence or there's something here that they're still processing. Because I don't feel like this is an individual who's not aware of what to do. I just feel like they're choosing to, uh, you know, not, you know, uh, do something about it at this time because with the Four of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles, that is a very premeditated energy, yes, but it's also very slow moving. So Ten of Swords clarifying the Three of Pentacles here. They feel like, again, there's something here you guys couldn't see eye to eye on and it could have caused a betrayal. So even if this person was dishonest with you and they did apologize to you, they're realizing that certain things cannot be fixed with just an apology. There's something to do with their behavior or some sort of change that they're trying to make. What is the Three of Swords?
<clears throat> Page of Pentacles, yeah, and then we have the Knight of Swords. This person may feel like they spoke too soon, for sure, um, and that's what they could be torn about. And it's also an energy of maybe even like like your per like what I'm getting here, guys, is like your person maybe replaying a scenario in their mind, but they're like, I should have said this instead of that, you know, like pretty much. Um, like a should have, would have, could have energy because with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, that's someone who could could be, uh, you know, it could be a message or something that they, even if it's a phone call, it's something that they said to you, but they feel like they said something too soon. Um, and this person may even feel like they were a selective listener or they were picking and choosing what they wanted to pay attention to, but it backfired on them is how they feel. What is the Page of Cups? Because they're torn with the Three of Swords. The Four of Wands, wow. And the Ten of Cups, yeah. And I think that's why we have that Ten of Swords and Three of Swords energy there. Um, and the Ten of Wands, you know, this person is extremely torn because with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups, that's someone who does want a new beginning with you. Four of Wands could be reconciliation, especially in a no communication spread. And with the Ten of Cups, some of you could have been in a long-term commitment with this person where they're like, I don't want to let this go. Like, I want to work on this. I want to try this again. So if this person communicates with you in the near future, one thing that they will mention to you is something um, with the Ten, like, uh, the Ten of Wands is standing out to me. So it could be something to do with like choosing the wrong direction or choosing the more difficult route. So they're going to tell you that you know I made the wrong decision or I chose to do this but it you know backfired on me and with the page of cups that could be like a you know um, a love offer something new something light-hearted but with the four of wands and ten of cups they're saying this to you in hopes that they could reconcile with you but there's a lot of hurt that's going on you know even on your end you're not really invested in this situation as much as you once were so for some of you, I don't think that you're looking forward towards reconciliation, but for those of you that are, I feel like it will be, um, yeah, it may be lighthearted, but the main thing I see your person speaking about is that 10 of wands energy, which is um, something that they chose to do, which essentially backfired on them. Okay, guys, so let's see what this person would like to say to you. Okay. I don't want to know. And I feel like there's a fear of how you actually feel because with the King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, that's an energy of like, I don't want to invest in this. I'm sorry. Like maybe, you know, my emotions are not going to leave overnight, but I don't see this as being a situation where, uh, you know, it can get off the ground or something feels unhealthy. Something doesn't feel realistic. So with the, I don't want to know, this person could be fearing how you actually feel. They already view you as someone who has your back turned towards a situation but they could be fearing your response as well if they were to reach out. Um, I know you don't feel the same. Exactly. This is what I was saying, guys, right? Um, with the King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, you no longer want to try anymore. In the past, you may have given this person countless chances, uh, but now you no longer want to, right? Bottom of the deck, it says, I am not over you. Anything else? I wonder how you feel. Yeah. I feel like, of course, you know, with that page of swords, we did see this person could be curious about how you feel, but I think that there's more of a fear of your response or figuring out the truth of the situation, which is um, possibly that you no longer want to try or you do not want to, you know, reconcile here. Okay. So anything else? I do love you, you know, that's why we have the four of wands as well as the 10 of cups. But just to be a little realistic about the situation here, some of you are still upset about what happened in the past. Okay, some of you, you've made, you know, you've set very clear boundaries where you're not really looking forward to reconciliation. You know, maybe you feel like that, the, you know, that that ship has sailed. Like, you know, when you were trying, this person did not want to reciprocate that energy. But now that they want to, uh, you know, reciprocate the energy, you may feel like it's too late. And then the bottom of the deck, guys, it says, I miss seeing you, okay? So my wonderful Aquarians, that is what I'm getting for you. Uh, so I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here. And thank you so much for your time.